Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. So I'll be checking out what if Super Mario Maker 2 had a Super Mario Land game style. Let's get started. All right, first we're gonna hop into the editor mode. All right, so as you can see here, Super Mario Brothers style has been replaced with Super Mario Land. This is a mod made by Kaizo Dan. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Let's do it, boom. This is so cool. <laughs> so I just want to hit play and see <laughs> see what's going on here. This looks awesome. It looks like they've replaced maybe everything. All right, Mega Shroom has not actually been changed, so we still look like pretty much normal Mario. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, let's uh, go back. Let's uh, see what all the different themes look like and then check out some of the items and then we're gonna play some levels. That sounds fun to me. Let's do it. Oh, check this out. It's actually got the names of the areas that it's replaced. I've never known how to pronounce this. Birabutu? Birabutu? I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but let's check it out. All right. So this is pretty much like the standard overworld in Mario Land. Looks pretty cool. We have undergrounds. The underground's been changed as well. It looks like they've changed pretty much everything. This is really cool. Underwater. Do a little swimming. I really like the small Mario sprite, but I want to see the large Mario sprite. Let's grab a mushroom real quick. Boop. There we go. Now we got big Mario. Cool. All right, here is the desert. I did read that the music has not been changed to Mario Land music because they couldn't figure out how to do it. So that's one downside, but this looks fantastic. I love it. All right. All right. We already saw the winter theme. Here's the sky. Some of these look kind of similar to each other, but notice now the background's actually moving. I don't know if it makes sense for the totem poles to be moving, but I think it looks really cool. <laughs> the clouds do make sense. Ooh, check that out! Alright, so the Koopa Troopas are now Bombshell Koopas, or Para Bombshell Koopas. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to check out all the enemies they've changed up in this. Too bad they don't blow up. That would be really, really cool. Alright, Force theme is now. Boom. Pretty cool looking. They all look very similar because, you know, it's black and white. Alright, instead of the ghost house, we get this beautiful, uh, whatever you want to call it. Anything come out of the pipe? Ooh, a shoe! Oh, we got regular Mario in the shoe. It looks like they didn't replace the head of Mario, but at least it's still black and white, right? Boop, 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 boop. Fantastic. All right, and then we have the sky zone. All right, now this one's auto scrolling too with the clouds in the background. It looks crazy. It's just so neat seeing new game styles in Mario Maker 2. Really feel like they should have added more styles even had that whole section for alternate game themes. Could have been really cool. I really like this small Mario. <laughs> you can make him kind of like giggity giggity. <laughs> All right, lastly, we're gonna check out the castle theme. Can we get some bricks? Our lava almost looks like water. You know, black and white graphics. What can you do? Pretty dang cool though. So that's all the game themes. Now let's check out the enemies. That sounds pretty cool to me. All right, so we saw the Bombshell Koopas. Those look pretty cool. And then there's the old Goomba Roos, which are actually Goombos. Hold them in, we can get the red ones, which look a little different. And there's the Goombrats, which change into whatever they would be called in Mario Land. Okay, let's check out some more enemies. So Piranha Plants are still Piranha Plants in Mario Land. They're still called Piranha Plants. Uh, if we copy and move one over here, we can make it a fire-breathing one, which looks pretty funny. <laughs> uh, let's hit play real quick. So there's a few of the enemies we've got. Buzzy Beats. Buzzy Beetle looks awesome. What about the Shelmets? How's that look on Mario? <laughs> like a regular Buzzy Beetle Shelmet. I like how the Buzzy Beetle shell just kind of bops up and down there. It looks pretty funny. Here's the two different Cheap Cheeps we get which are now, I believe they're called like Torian or something like that in Mario Land, but those look awesome. Let's switch over to water. Just how crazy different does this look? I love it. <laughs> it's so cool. So the bloopers are now the uh, Gunian, I guess they're pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce anything from this game super well, but we're trying here. So I apologize if I'm pronouncing these wrong. That looks really cool though. We even have one with some little babies. Pretty cool. All right, spinies. That looks really cool. 
Spike tops. Look very similar to the spinies, which makes sense. Fire Piranha Plant we've already seen. Chain Chop? Did they replace the Chain Chop? Yes, awesome. Munchers have been replaced. Gotta put these munchers on top of those for the heck of it. Thwomps. Oh, awesome. All right, so the Thwomps have become the Sue, I guess they're called, which are like spiders, I guess. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's gotta be one of the coolest Thwomp ideas in a while. I really like that a lot. Alright, Monty Mole? Alright. Yo, Monty Mole. <laughs> That's the perfect enemy to replace the Monty Mole. Uh, Toko Tokos, I think they're called. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, we gotta check out Rocky Wrench as well. They did a good job of making these look like Game Boy enemies. Alright, and Hammer Bros. Everyone's favorite, right? Sure. <laughs> so the Hammer Bros will be the... Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'll put the name on the screen. You sound it out for me in the comments. And they throw boulders. Moving to the next section, enemies. We got Wigglers. Oh, they look awesome. I love it. All right, we got a regular Wiggler. Hop on the Wiggler, and it gets angry. This is so cool. I'm so glad they took the time to replace... So many enemies and items. Booze? Oh, that looks awesome! <laughs> I love it! There's the Boo Buddies. We got a regular Boo and some Boo Buddies. Very spooky! Magicoops! Boop! Whoa! Did not see that coming! What a cool idea! Oops! <laughs> And we're dead. All right, so uh, is this enemy's name pronounced Gao or Gao or something like that? I'm not sure, but I definitely recognize them from the game. Fish bones. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. I believe these are called Hanan or something like that. Either way, we know they're fish bones and they're trying to kill us. All right, let's switch to land and see what dry bones look like. I knew these would be dry bones. These enemies act so much like dry bones in Mario Land because they crumble like this and come back. These are called like Pianpi, maybe? <laughs> you just have to make fun of me when I get all these names wrong. <laughs> all right, next we have the Bob-omb. He looks pretty much like a Bob-omb. Boop! Can you blow up that for me, please, Bob-omb? Welp, you missed. Lakitu. Awesome. Can you throw me out a spiny, please? It looks like an insect. <laughs> so cool. Angry Sun? They even did the Angry Sun? It looks great! Okay, let's get it to attack if we can. Uh-oh, we don't have enough- yeah, we do! Okay, we have enough ground, barely. Come on! <laughs> That's pretty cool! What about the moon? The moon works too! Sweet! That's awesome! So the moon works as well. Seems like they really tried to replace everything. Alright, let's put Bowser down here by the axe. Ooh, sweet! All right, so this is one of the bosses from Mario Land, uh, King Totomesu. Probably once again saying that wrong. Jump over your head, jump on the axe, and finish the level? <laughs> That's so cool! I know I sound like a broken record, but this is just amazing to me. Bowser Jr. is good old B. Junes! But considering how many things we've tried, the fact that Bowser Jr. is one of the only things not changed is pretty impressive. What about Boom Boom? Whoa, Boom Boom has been changed. And I'm not sure what he's replacing or who he's supposed to be, but he looks super creepy. He kind of looks like an insect of some sort. <laughs> it's so crazy looking. See you later, Boom Boom. All right, we have some more. We have burners. Burners have just been made pretty much black and white. They don't look too, too much different. I like the base, though. It does fit in with the style well. So we'll put the bullet bill blaster down. In Mario Land, the bill blasters would come out of pipes, which was cool. Oops. And they're actually called Bullet Biffs in this game, which is really funny. <laughs> He's Biff instead of Bill. I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> Cannons have been changed. Twisters? Twisters have been changed? That is awesome. I like it. Icicles? Not been changed. I assume most of this other stuff's been changed as well. Grinders. Swinging claws. Dang. Lifts. Skull platforms, seesaw, bumper, skewer, what a bunch of cool items. Whee! 
on off blocks, dotted line block, snake blocks, tracks, one way walls, conveyor belt, not been changed. Here's keys, arrow signs, here's the old checkpoint flag, doors, P switch door, and the locked door. Here's the old P switcheroo, the spring, vine. Turns into a ladder, I like that. What about clown car? We didn't check that out. Oh, that's awesome, becomes a plane? <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it looks a little funny, but that's awesome. <laughs> we got a little plane to fly around in. I don't think we checked out lava bubbles, but there they are. All right, they actually replaced the 10 coin coin, the 30 coin coin, and the 50 coin coin. That's pretty cool. Regular coins, of course, have been changed. The old superstar has been changed. Here's that Goomba shoe again, in case you forgot it from earlier. Fire flower is just a fire flower. Since this is my modded switch, I don't have everything unlocked, so we don't have the Mario Land mushroom, sadly. That would be perfect for this. All right, here's our brick blocks, our question mark blocks, our hard blocks. There's our donut blocks. That's awesome. Looks like the ones from the original Mario Land. Note blocks, the old cloudy blocks look more like clouds no happy faces on those and our ice blocks all right let's get to our ground and semi-solids and then we're gonna go check out some levels all right so obviously we have the ground but what's really cool is they've taken the time to add slopes so slopes will work with this mod which is really cool ridge and then you'll get three different semi-solids with each theme as well. So here's the three for the castle theme. Here's the overworld, underground, underwater, the desert, snow theme, sky theme, the forest theme, the ghost house, sky zone. Here's pipes. And if you change the color, it will actually switch it to the original pipes, it looks like. Mushroom platforms. If you change the color, they do slightly change, which is pretty cool. Spike traps. Look pretty much the same. All right, so we probably missed a couple things, but we've checked out pretty much everything. Now it's time to see the mod in action. Let's play some levels. So we're going to try to look for some Mario Brothers 1 style levels in story mode so we can see the mod in action. All right, on off switch research expedition. That's quite a mouthful. Sweet, this looks so cool. I really wish Nintendo would have added more game styles, more themes. It would have been really cool. We gotta re hit the switch here. Uh, story mode's really awesome. Did you all like story mode in this game? The level design on a lot of these is just really well done. A lot of the levels are really fun, there's some good challenges. Also gives you a lot of ideas for making levels. There's a big Chain Chomp. Oh wait, we could take the Chain Chomp out. There we go. Get these coins. Hit the old on off switch and head up here. I love this. It makes the game feel fresh again, having a new game style. All right, we got a bridge here. Let's see. One up, okay, the one up's a heart. I don't know if we checked that out yet. Boom, that's cool. So we could get some one-ups here using the on-off switch. I barely remember this level. I haven't played story mode since the game came out, and that was quite a while ago now. All right, <laughs> that background element looks really funny up there. Star comes down, grab the star and head back. All right, run through some perini plants. Oh, there's a spring there. Sideways springs, something we didn't check out. Now we need to kick a Koopa Troopa, so it'll activate the on-off switch for us. Do 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 do. It's actually a bombshell Koopa, I guess, in Mario Land, but you know what I mean. I think this mod is fantastic, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, this one's called Dry Bone Shell Boating. 
I don't really remember this one too well. This should be interesting. So I don't think we saw the dry bone shell yet. I think I forgot to look at that earlier. There's fire bars too, another thing we forgot about. I think about playing these levels. <laughs> this is so neat looking. Wow. All right. Definitely a fun way to uh, play story mode. Um, boom, boom. Getting the coinage. Our dry bone shell we don't really need. Lava bubble there. Dry bone shell is like really overpowered. That can kill pretty much everything. Can kill bosses in one hit. And we got a checkpoint over here. Add a little color to our level with a red checkpoint. Whoop. Okay, everything's fine. Whoop! Okay, I almost lost it. Alright. This is so cool. Alright, we gotta watch out for the fireballs. Oh, no, don't do that. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, let's just ju jump on the X. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We almost screwed it up. <laughs> All right. We're a little rusty at the uh, story mode levels, I guess, but we got it. All right. Let's try out one more level and wrap up the video. All right. This one's called Shoe Stopper. Winter themed level. I can't reach the block. Give me my mushy. All right. We're going to get a Goomba shoe. I wish the Goomba shoe had Mario's head looking appropriate, but it's, you know, just a black and white normal Mario head, but that's fine. Into the pipe right now. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, now we got underground. More shoes. <laughs> we don't need the shoe. Mario's capable of beating this without the shoe. The fire piranhas look pretty funny. I like it. We'll go under you. Sorry, piranha plant. You're in my way. A little checkpoint action. Giant boot. Now, we got Little Mario Head in the Giant Boots. As long as we're not Super Mario, it still works out pretty well. Little Boot Stomp. Ten Coin Coin, thank you so kindly. Stiletto it up. Why not? Alright, if we do this... We can get the Mushy. Super Mario again. Oop, that was stupid. What am I doing? Help me! <laughs> oh, Winged Goomba Shoe looks pretty funny. Little flying around action. I've been thinking about making my own Mario Maker 2 mod. If I did, what game style do you think I should try to make? Seems like it could take a long time to do something like this. Changing all these different things, this had to take forever. Alright. There we have it. The Super Mario Land game style mod for Super Mario Maker 2 by Kaizo Dan. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the Super Mario Land game style. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when I release new videos. You can check out my merch store, join the BTG Discord, my Instagram, and my Twitter are all in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.